Senator Seward. Um, here we have the blame game happening around bad process. Yes, last week, get, have no doubt, last week was bad process and the Greens believe it, it was very bad process and our vote shows what we thought about that. However, one bad process does not justify another bad process. The fact is the crossbench was not involved in the committees that scrut this committee that scrutinised these two bills. We've already said we don't think they should be debated together because we have serious concerns about both bills that need to be aired. They are separate bills. But bad process does not justify bad process. The fact is there's 280 amendments that were made in a very short time frame in the House of Reps yesterday, which we have not had time to get across. We don't know if those amendments actually reflect the findings of the committee um, when they made the recommendation on these bills. And what do we get to justify the cut-off order, which prevents us from adequately scrutinising those amendments, the 280 amendments, is a paragraph and a sentence about urgency that just says these are urgent because they are urgent and throws in the word security. And we're all supposed to throw up our hands every single time the government and ALP mention security and go, ooh, 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 we better do what they want. Well, we don't think that is right. Just because they throw around the word security when there hasn't been an increase in the, rest, in the terrorist th threat risk from probable, the security risk has not been increased from probable for five years. So what does that mean about urgency? So they throw around the word security. When you actually look at it, there hasn't been an increase in the threat level. But we are supposed to run around and go, oh, anything you want. Well, the crossbench don't think this is an appropriate process. We think it should be considered properly. We think we should be given the opportunity to properly scrutinise 280 amendments and give the community a chance to actually properly scrutinise those amendments to see what they think. Because we have very serious concerns, as Senator McKim has already articulated, around what these package of this package of bill means, of bills I should say, means for our democracy. We have not had that opportunity yet. We don't know uh, what those amendments mean. We, did, we have concerns about those bills, which we have clearly articulated before, yet we were still denied the opportunity to participate in the community process because the two old parties want to keep ganging together, throwing around the terms urgency and security and locking out the community, because that's what this does. It locks out the community, the community's ability to properly scrutinise these bills. And it prevents this place from properly scrutinising these bills and looking at the impact these bills, with the 280 amendments, 280 amendments blinked through in the House of Representatives without proper scrutiny. And now we don't have the ability to scrutinise that. That's why we tried to refer these bills to the uh, Senate Community uh, Legal and Constitutional Committee so we could review what the amended bills mean and enable the community to have their say on that too. We don't support this being rushed through on the flimsy paragraph that says they're urgent because we believe they're urgent and just trust us. Well, we don't trust you. We don't trust you on urgency and we don't trust you whenever you use the word scrutiny and expect us to run around and go, oh, oh OK, that's a fine. We'll blink it through. Well, we won't.